Experian have chosen nine entrepreneurs to be part of the pitch, where we show them how to make their first £10,000 in business. At the end of the week, they will pitch to a panel of judges who will decide who will win the cash prize and code you from experienced business experts. It's day four, and yesterday there was a double elimination. Fola and Anthony have left the process, leaving only seven entrepreneurs competing for the top prize. How are the entrepreneurs feeling? I was shocked. Um, I was speechless. Um, initially, we thought one person was going home, and then it was two. And like, I was just speechless, man. I think it was very harsh. It was like, it was like a squid game thing. Like, <laughs> you know, two people, two, two, two people cut off completely. It was, it, was, it was crazy. Obviously we were told on Wednesday that someone would be going home. And I guess as they told each candidate to sit down, to sit down, they revealed that two people will be going home. And so that was a real shocker. Like I assumed, obviously they, they call it out in no particular order, but in your head, you're just anxious and seeing all like really, really solid uh, competitors in like the final six or so, I was like, hmm, I might go home today. So that was, uh, that was a bit hard to handle. To be honest, I believe the group dynamics is pretty strong. Um, we created a group chat, you know, we're staying in touch, so it's not going to affect the chemistry. I think it will just make people more aware of anything could happen. Today sees the return of one of our special guests. Jocelyn and her co-founder Rachel have won several pitching competitions and recently raised $1.2 million from Google to grow their business. So I'm back again today. I have been asked to run the pitching workshop, how to put together a pitch deck and how to pitch for money in your company. What's really important in pitching is telling a story that makes sense. Uh, one thing I mentioned to them was you can say that you want to make, I don't know, 50,000 pounds in your business. The end number is not the important thing, it's how you're going to get there and telling a really good story to make the numbers make sense. Um, and also things that people don't think about, like not having too many words on your slides because people can't read and listen to what you're saying at the same time and also making sure that the slides are really pretty and aesthetically pleasing because you know we are in a shallow world and investors will not click into slides that don't look nice. Pitching is an essential skill for entrepreneurs. Whether it's pitching to investors or potential customers, you have to be able to tell the story of your business so people like, trust and want to spend or invest their money with you. For context, nine out of the 10 largest companies in the world grew by pitching investors for funding. We know that practice makes perfect, so the entrepreneurs are maximizing every minute they can get. Who does Joyce think is the best at pitching? Again, I would say Raphael, um, but to be fair, he has had a head start. He, this is his second business venture, and, and he did raise funding for his first one. So he kind of understands, he understands what is needed. Um, and I think that he, the good thing about having him here is that the other contestants are able to learn from him. But yeah, he's really strong because he just get, he gets it. What's not on the slides is that someone else is leaving today. <laughs> and that you guys are going to vote for who that will be. <laughs> yes, you're pitching today and you're going to be pitching in front of each other and you'll be scoring each other on a scale of one to five. Five being very good, one being very poor, three being average. The accumulation of those scores will result in one of you at least leaving. And um, any more questions on that? Otherwise, we can go on to get into the point. <laughs> Another shot elimination. How confident are the entrepreneurs feeling now? Like somebody woke up and chose violence. That's what it felt like. But again, it's a competition at the end of the day and you gotta participate and do what you gotta do really. And so, and that happened just to be the thing that it was. So 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was that was crazy. When that was announced, I was like, nah, this is definitely a good game. <laughs> so the fact that we have to take each other out now is 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 bad. I didn't like it. The judges will be looking for who has a clear understanding of their customer's problem and how they can solve it, like they did in the first pitch. But they also want to see who has improved their pitch. The pitch will be in reverse order from day three, so Nate is going first. Subscriber retention rates after three months. You notice that after three months, 87% of our subscribers have stayed with us. How this works? The referral from the dealership to the customer comes from a trusted source. So the customer feels secure. Secondly, the customer is perceived as being wealthy by having somebody come to their home, clean their car, the neighbors are now watching them. Subscriber retention after three months is a key metric which we're going to use to monitor the, the success of our new proposal. We'll also be monitoring the referral fee going out to dealerships as this will be paid on the second paid wash. Up next is Sojourna. She struggled a little bit yesterday. Has she made the necessary changes? The difficulty is that she's having that she's buying so many beauty boxes that she has an excessive mm. amount of products and not all of the products are suitable for her because they're not suitable for her skin tone or hair type. And that she's giving them away and wasting money. Who wants to waste money? Next to go is Raphael. After a strong showing yesterday, will he continue to stand out to the judges? Temple is a direct-to-consumer personal care and wellness brand that creates products specifically for men of color. The problem that we're addressing is that the beauty and personal wellness space doesn't cater to men of color. Next to go is Talia. She's nervous. Will she crack under the pressure? At Shin Chemistry, we empower people to feel confident and gorgeous in their own skin by providing quality types that perfectly match all brown skin tones. The best part? You can't even tell they're wearing them. Can you tell I am? Up next is Anita. After a shaky start yesterday, she recovered. Will she be better today? So personally, as a woman with Afro hair and as a young mom, uh, it's really hard to care for our hair and it can be extremely time consuming. Um, so we want to provide solutions that actually work and also save time for our customers. Up next is Abby. Yesterday, the judges said, that she needed to present more and avoid looking down at her notes so much. What will be different today? At EMB we have two major problems. The first being that when it comes to darker skinned, textured hair people, 78% of those products are laced with endocrine disruptors, a big word. Essentially that's toxic pharmaceuticals that are connected to uterine cancers, fibroids and respiratory problems. Our customers are going to stores to look after themselves and end up with more adverse health consequences. Last to go is Amadou. Now he ran out of time in his presentation yesterday. Will he be able to keep time better today? Sape comme jamais. French for swagger like never before. It's an urban studio clothing line inspired by African culture blended with contemporary fashion. Like never before, SCJ is dedicated to champion their customers to celebrate their truth through strong aesthetic couture. It's now time for the judges to deliberate and decide who will be going home. They're all kind of close, aren't they? And make our job harder. So effectively, you're looking, these guys are much of a muchness. While the judges count up the results, the entrepreneurs discuss how they think they did. And the strength it takes to be out there. And yeah, honestly, so, yes. so many skills have been learned, gained so much, and I can see the game, like, whether we lose or take that away. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think it's been like the best, like, intensive learning, incubator, accelerating all of that. It's just Amazing. been. <laughs> because we became so nice to each other, it's like, okay, eliminate someone. Then, like, now today, you're going to eliminate yourself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just keep it along anonymous. <laughs> it's time for the judges to announce who will be leaving the process. So, um, congratulations to you all for getting this far. It's been a hell of a week. 
with lots of value and lots of things learned even from us as a team. And today you've got a taste of how hard it is to judge who should be going on and who should progress. Now, um, I'm gonna give you feedback progressively as a learning from yesterday. So, if I call your name, Abby, Talia, and Raphael, you guys did very well today, you're safe. Have a seat. There is work to be done for tomorrow because essentially, are you investable today? Not quite. So tonight there is lots to get ready for tomorrow because they will ask much tougher questions than we did. Nate and Anita, you two are safe but just. Nate, we didn't see enough progression from yesterday. It was very, very similar in your presentation style where it feels like there's emphasis on particular words and we're not clear why that is. It needs to be improved. It's a little bit distracting from when you're conveying the message. And Anita, when you first open, if you stumble in the first instant, you struggle to recover. And be mindful of arms. Have a seat, the two of you. Now, this was, this was really tough because both of you have shown really, really great progress in this. And this was as voted for by your peers. So they've seen the work you've put in, they've seen the time you've spent, and you're both very deserving to be here today. However, the person with the least votes today was Sojourner. So unfortunately, you'll be leading the process. No problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you're very welcome. You did fantastically well. Best of luck with your business going Thank forward. You. Sojourner is leaving a process today. Let's see how she feels. Bad times, but it's all good. I've, I've learned a lot and that's what it's all about really, just learning and taking away from it and then implementing it. And I guess for me, that is probably worth more because I can take it away, implement it and do it multiple times. And again, any other opportunities that come, I can then do them as well and apply what I've learned here. So we're all good. Now I'm a dude. Unfortunately, you'll be leaving the process today as well. Um, you made a lot of progress from yesterday. The pitch was a lot, lot better. But we felt that going forward, that it would be very, very difficult for you to progress beyond the pitch. So we thought today was a good place for you to stop your journey with us. Thank you so much for what you brought. In a shock decision, Amadou is leaving the process today. The game's over, man. I'm upset, I'm upset, but you know, it was a great experience. I enjoyed it. I learned so much in the last four days. I'm very grateful and humbled to be here and learn so much and looking forward to apply it. But yeah, man, I'm gutted. On the next episode of The Pitch, the final five come to terms with what it means to get this far. They are just one pitch away from winning a £3,000 cash prize and the support they need to make their first £10,000 in business. So the winner of the first experience, the pitch challenge, 